Hello there, I'm Shani, and today we are going to open up the Steam Controller. The Steam Controller, as you can see, is a lovely controller from Steam. Let's open it up, let's see what's inside. So after carefully loosening the uh, tape from the sleeve, which we have upside down, because this is the front, we have more tape sealing this box as well. One handed unboxing of boxes is fun. Okay, here we are, the controller. Isn't that beautiful? We'll put that to one side and see what else is in the box. Loving the control though, that's nice. Touchy, feely, mmm. Even smells good. I don't know why I rubbed that against my face. Hey, <laughs> the great thing about after editing. <laughs> we have a little dongle, which I'm guessing is how we wireless it connects to your computers. We have a box with a hole in it. We have a quick start guide. Woo, we'll read that later. And a Steam Controller product guide. We have a piece of cardboard with another piece of plastic. It looks like some sort of USB connection. Hmm, perhaps to charge it? I don't know. And then we have, what else do we have? We have a cable. Okay, so great. Perhaps we can make the controller wired, in case we want to do it wired. Let's put that all away, and look so at the controller. The control itself is uh, quite nice in the hand. It makes a lovely little beep noise, as you just possibly heard then. You've got this lovely light. You've got these very odd touch pads. You've got a D-pad, and it has got clicky buttons underneath it. But it's actually touch sensitive, like like a trackpad for a mouse. And same with the for the right hand side, which is smooth. But again, it's got buttons. You've got the uh, A, B, X, and Y, like that of a Microsoft controller, as it is kind of based on a, a Microsoft controller. On the back, we have top shoulder buttons and also triggers. And we've also got some under triggers. You got a start and a select button, or back button, and then the home button, which seems to work quite well. Um, you can use it on the screen as a mouse, but it seems to work okay. Uh, the joystick is quite nice. Feels a bit odd on the thumb, but it's not too bad. So we're getting Isaac running in the background. So. It takes a little while to get used to. It's uh, a bit of a strange control. The fact that you you don't really need to actually do any pushing or anything of the, the pad. Uh, you know, my, my thumb is quite literally just tickling it. And I am able to use it to move one to fire. As with the D-pad, same again. Very weird with the D-pad because you kind of... When, when you want to move, you're, you're, you're kind of wanting to push on something, and you can if you want to, but it moves with just the slightest of tickles, which really throws me off a little bit. But you know, the buttons, they move, they click. It looks like they've kind of thought about the design a lot in order to make it as uh, intuitive as they possibly can, whilst working for every selection of games, Steam. That I'm talking of because it's a Steam controller. Doing quite well with this one. Its price, however, is quite steep. At, uh, I believe it was. around £40 plus post and packing. As I say, it's quite nice in the hand. It's quite comfortable. It's not really catching anywhere, so that's good. I'm not going to be expecting blisters on my hands anytime soon. Um, it's still a bit weird to try and get used to the whole sensitive pad thing that's ever so weird. I've been using it for about three days now and I'm, I'm getting better but it's, you know, I'm sure it's going to take a little time just to kind of make sure it becomes more second nature, you know. So, yes, overall this is a pretty good And controller. the fact that I actually comes with pretty much everything you need in the box, you know, batteries, the wireless connector, a cable in case you want to do it wired. Um, this little dongle thing that I actually looked at is a port 
that allows you to put the wireless receiver a little bit nearer to you if you've got like a unit that's in a cupboard or whatever so that's quite good quite handy uh, so yeah I have had thoughts of giving away I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I want to give away at least one of these over the next month so if anybody would like a steam controller comment down below why you think you should have one and I will try and get in touch with you if you are lucky winner to find a way of getting it to you okay well thanks for watching bye for now